Earthworms, centipedes, and millipedes can all be considered decomposers and can be found beneath anything subject to decay, like the moist soil beneath rotted logs. Oh, look at this. We've got a darkling beetle. That's a darkling beetle. Here we have Chilopata. That's a centipede. Okay, here are some millipedes. So that's Diplopata. We have some Diplopata. What else do we got here? Little centipede. These tiny ecosystems have an abundance of small organisms that break down plant matter. Even the rotted tree bark is food that is broke down to become soil. Everywhere you look, there is an insect or worm. Now uh, here's an earthworm. North America has about 180 plus different species of earthworm. Now earthworms are, they have both sexes. So they have eggs and sperm. And to mate, earthworms stick themselves together and they share sperm, which fertilizes each other's eggs. And this little band here, if you can see that little band around their body, that is called the clitellum. And what that does is it stores eggs. When, after breeding, when those eggs mature, that band will slide off the worm's body and it'll close itself around the eggs creating a bit of a cocoon for those eggs. It looks a lot like uh, like a lemon. But that's an earthworm. That's a pretty cool find. And notice they're slimy. Now that slime on their body is what helps them move through the, through the ground and through the dirt. It also keeps their skin moist. Worms don't have lungs. So they breathe through their skin. Let's put this fella back. Cover him up with a little bit of moist soil. I'm just not seeing a lot going on. Um, because the soil is pretty dry, we haven't had a rain yet. Now those earthworms, what they do is they consume organic matter. So leaves, any decaying leaves and other organic matter that de deteriorates and decomposes into the soil, that is what the earthworms eat. Now people think that they're good for their garden. They are good and they are bad. Um, earthworms can deplete nutrients also in your garden, deplete organic matter. And so in that regard, they're bad, but they can also loosen soil. So depending on what soil you have, they could be either good or they could be bad. All right, let's roll these back. On to the next. Okay, here's another centipede. Now centipedes, that's chilopata. You have chilopata and diplopata, centipedes and millipedes. This is a centipede. Centipedes are arthropods, and there are over 8,000 species of centipedes worldwide. This bark centipede is a venomous species that injects toxins into its prey. Though fascinating and even menacing to look at, most species are of no danger to humans, though their bite can be quite painful. Their activity and predation in and around decaying plants and wood is why we can add them to the list of decomposers found in these tiny ecosystems.